Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. So earlier, I was thinking about this crisis with uh, Ukraine and Russia and how the USA is playing its role as its membership with others and dealing with situations such as this. And I'm thinking, what specifically is this problem with Russia and Ukraine? And I wanted to do some specific research so I could, and it dawned on me, it doesn't matter. It's the same old game. It's the same old game. You have someone with some power, someone with some advantage over another wants to manipulate and control, enforce their will upon someone else. That is the kind of things that takes place where there's a lack of true understanding and appreciation for one another. So basically, that's what that is all about. Now, I'll come back to that maybe. And another thing I was thinking about was uh, how people are protesting, protesting against the mask wearing and probably some of the vaccine mandates. When it comes down to that, I have no opinion about that whatsoever. But what got my attention is the degree that people will go to to stand up for whatever they feel about it. And I'm thinking how important that is to them and how unimportant it is to them that they have the ability to live, to have a career. I'm thinking, why are they protesting about the Build Back Better? I mean, that offers so many benefits, so many benefits to American citizens who are suffering at this point in time because of a lack thereof. And they allow and accept some people who are sitting up there approving millionaires and multimillionaires and billionaires and multibillionaires not even paying any taxes. And they are here telling you that a system of government that will give something back to you to respect and honor you, it can't happen, and you sit down and get up and fuss about a mask? <clears throat> I would think that every adult should demand in this system and any system wherever you live, you should demand a job. A career of your choosing is beautiful. Something that gives you your greatest joy. And all of these jobs we know are interconnected. To do what? To create the goods and services that we the people have determined are essential for survival. We know that. The resources that we use are given. I don't care how the systems are set up today to exploit and do the things that they are doing to us. We know that the resources are given and they are given for the purpose for which they are used. But what they're not given for is the exploitation. Now, you and I who, all of us, who engage ourselves in creating the goods and services, what are they for? For the benefit of we the people. Now we got a reservoir of goods and services that no one would be denied anything when it comes to food, clothing, and shelter, and education, and health care. In fact, we got the best that there can possibly be because we got the best people in the best positions doing what they do best to give us, the people, the best. And it's just a love fest. People loving what they do, doing it. And the, the flowers are just blooming. And we're held up before the world. We don't have to worry about fighting. But then we don't have to argue. We just be like the sun. It's there, whether you like it or not. Sometimes you cover it up, but you know it's coming. The moon, the stars, hey, we become one of those, an example to the world. And when we speak to people about things such as this, it has some value. So I guess I wanted to say that it is living a life like this, respecting people, not 
being better in, than anybody, but being the best you can be at whatever it is that you do and being satisfied with that. You're not competing with someone else. You're competing with yourself to be the best that you can be. Why? Because that's you. And you know we need you just like you need us. And we want to give you the best because it's all a party. And you want to give us the best because it's all a party. We have learned the secrets of life. We don't need to want to be military, militaristically, militaristically bad. Or we can flex our muscles and people jump. Or we can have so much economic gain that we can threaten people with sanctions and cause them pain and suffering to abide by our rules. Why don't we just lift up life in such a way it's so beautiful to people say, show us how you do that. Teach us the way. And all we got to do is let them see how we treat one another. Goodness gracious, ain't that fantastic? Look, ain't nobody telling y'all nothing like that. <clears throat> what I just got through telling you, if you heard it, I bet it's the first time you heard it, unless you heard it from me, and I don't know when, and you don't know when, but I know it sounds good. But think about it, ladies and gentlemen, it's not about sounding good. It's about the evidence that, can, that it will produce if we the people, and I'm saying this to you, I'm saying, yes, it will do what I'm telling you it will do. And I'm asking you to start caring. Start caring. <clears throat> don't let somebody else's kid get killed. Don't let your father or your mother get killed in a church sitting around by somebody who hates them or by some cop who accidentally pulled a trigger too fast or some car somebody was drinking. Let us take a head start and jump into this and start relieving the pain and suffering that people have to go through, that people go through by sharing the path to life by caring. Now, I've gotten some videos out here, ladies and gentlemen, that will tell you exactly what you could do. That you could prove to yourselves, your organizations, that the systems of this country are not really designed to take care of your needs. No, no. Now, I know in, in the beginning, you were thinking that this is gonna be their responsibility as far as you giving them the power, that you definitely gonna give them the power to look after us. But since that time has passed, they don't look after us. They look after those who give them money. And we are only used when it's come down time, come time to vote. And they make sure they spend a lot of money to propagandize us, to get us think about all kinds of stuff. And we get bought up into it because we trained to in this box. <clears throat> Answer's not in this box. <clears throat> You gotta step outside this box and forget that information that they taught you and create a new information, information that works that we just got through talking about it. That kind of information. That kind of stuff that will set you free from lying. That kind of information that don't have to be <laughs> grabbing a part and everybody lying. I mean, everybody falling in line. They're not, they say they're not lying. They just falling on the telling the lie. They're just falling. They look like to me, you remember when the when you see those pictures about the Germans back in Hitler's days, how they all marched, <clears throat> all the feet going up and hand going up at the same time. When I see those uh, people who follow in those lies and they know their lies and they call them lies, but now walking hand in hand, they look like those, what you call them, brown shoes, I don't know what you call them, but they you, they you know what I'm talking about. And they just walking, knowing darn well they follow the lie, but they don't have the courage to stop. <clears throat> That's because they've lived by the lie all their lives and they can't turn it loose. So forgive them, but that should encourage you to give it all you got. You can't lose because you got it right on your side. I want to leave it there. Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen, for giving me this your time. Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying goodbye.